Let's check this out. Busio complaining about 100 Thieves content requirements. On the 25th. Hold on, bro. Let's pull up the th evidence here. I have another four hours. On the 25th, which is tomorrow. At 7 a.m. 7 a.m. is crazy. Okay, we can all agree 7 a.m. is crazy. 100T does not want us to win, by the way. 100T does not give a f if we win. Okay, okay, there's two sides to this. There's two sides to this. There's two sides to this. 7 a.m. is crazy. One. Two. Uh, 100 Thieves do want you to win. But they also have to make money. And I imagine if they booked it at 7 a.m., unless the person who booked it has no idea what they're doing, it had to be at 7 a.m. They do not care. This reminds me of the Stewie uh, thing when the match was like at 10 a.m. and he got mad as f or something. They actually don't care. It's, it's just content. Dude, I think the community got to him. He broke. We broke Bustio, bro. We broke him. <laughs> we broke him. We did as broke him. <laughs> Damn. Okay, is that it? Alright. Nade Shot's response to Bustio. You know, it might be great. I guarantee you, and I haven't seen either of these clips. I guarantee you, Nate Shot is gonna at some point mention the fact that Hundred Thieves is a business and has to make money, and he's also gonna say what I said about being empathetic to him about it being at seven a.m. I think he's gonna repeat actually exactly what I said. Let's see. For you guys to watch unfold, everybody tell me not to crash out. I fuck with Bustio. I want. Also, I want to point out Nate Shot's a master glazer. Go ahead. I want him to be happy on Hundred Thieves. I don't know how we got from stage one, winning the last playoffs to then Shanghai to now where he's talking on stream about they could drop me. I don't care who's going to say anything to me. Yada, yada, yada. I, I just think that this is kind of taking a left turn and I'm trying to figure out how it was even possible for us to take a left turn because I don't think there's anybody in the organization that wants to be adversarial to what the players need and what they think they Bro, like uh, a dictionary, dude. want in order to succeed and win. For this organization next um i think he could work on his tone his delivery and maybe go, <laughs> go through the proper channels first but that is me making a lot of assumptions um assuming that he hasn't gone through the proper channels first so let me see oh shit, he took out the phone bro dude okay I, by the way i have so much respect for nate shot the fact that he fucking created 100 thieves and did what he did with it is crazy but just also knowing him like, I don't see him as a 100 Thieves owner. I just see him as, you know, just some fucking random dude. Not some random dude, but, you know, I just see him as, as who he is. But considering how fucking goofy and everything he is, it's just crazy what he did, you know? That's some random dude. What I'm trying to say is I see him as Matt, is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to say I see him as Matt, right? I don't see him as the 100 Thieves owner. Okay, random dude was a bad word. I was trying to say I see him, I see him, I see him as Matt. But I think he had a good answer here. I, I think he makes sense. I feel like we broke Bustio. More importantly, I think we broke Bustio because this was kind of unexpected. Let's see what people are saying here. I can nip this in the bud and clarify. We always try to accommodate a player's schedule. The perfect storm. In this case, a short time frame to squeeze in a riot asset. Yeah, it's not a big deal, really. It's not a big deal. I don't think anything here is a big deal, by the way. I think ideally Bustio doesn't say this on stream, but even though he did, it's fine. Like I said, I, I already I already said it from the start. It's probably because they had to do it at that time. They don't want to make it harder for him. That's for damn sure. What if he's complaining about content for content? Just blew we read the comments. Out. What am I reading in the comments? I'm positive that anyone who works a full time job is rolling their eyes at this. Nate shot in the org obviously cares so much about winning. Okay, I. <sighs> Part of me doesn't like this POV because it's just like, it's just compare. Is, can I say it's comparing apples to oranges or not? Nah? Because it's just taking the situation out of context. Like, I agree. We're living a dream job here. But I also understand Bustio's fucking, uh, like, I think I understand why Bustio would be upset. Especially after a hard loss. Especially after the entire community is kind of shitting on him when it's not, it's not, I mean, uh, yeah, he's getting so much shit. But I think Bustio just said it out of emotion, to be honest. And I, I understand what this guy's saying as well. I just think, like, 
it's just a low-hanging fruit. This was before the match? He said it before he lost to Furia? Oh, okay. Let me see, what does that change for me? He said it before they lost. Ah, it's still, it's still understandable. Still understandable. But I think he must have been fucking pissed. At, he must have been having a bad day. Because I'm surprised he reacted that way. It does change it a little bit, to be fair. You're backing Boostio because he uses your mouse? Okay, you're fucking out of your marbles. If you, you know, this, guy, <laughs> this guy said I'm backing Boostio. No, I'm backing Boostio because I was also a pro, so I can see both sides of the picture here. I think, it's, I think it sucks for him that it's 7 a.m., but I think that he has to look at it in the way that the org is not trying to fuck him over. And that it's at 7 a.m. because it has to be at 7 a.m. But I understand why he's pissed. Um, but, and I understand why that guy's making that point. I think it's not a big deal. I think this is not a big deal. So Rosa was right. You pros are ungrateful bums. Uh, is that what he said? I think some pros are, for sure. I could definitely say I wasn't. But even with that being said, I understand why Bustio's pissed. Even with that being said. Drop some names. Nice try, buddy. You need to stop being a prima donna baby. Grow up, you're getting paid hundreds of thousands of dollars to play a video game. This is reminding me of the Stewie situation, no joke. When he like we had an early match or he had an early match. And then he got mad about it. I just think like um man, I, I can't put the words to the to explain it. I understand what you guys are saying. Like, we definitely it is fucking amazing what we're doing here. But I can also understand why he's pissed about it. And I do also agree that some pros are ungrateful. I don't think I would put Boosty onto that category, even though how he reacted. Also, no matter what job you have, why can't you complain regardless? Even if you have the best job in the world, what's wrong with complaining about something that goes wrong in your job? Like, this is a, like, understand, this is like a, this is like a, this is just like, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? Yeah, I don't know. It's just uh, an annoyance, not an annoyance. I don't know what the word I'm looking for is. Yeah, I, I just feel like no matter what job in the world, even if you have the best job in the world, why can't you complain about something that's going wrong in your workplace? Because you have it better than someone else? Like, I, I feel like I totally understand why Boosty is mad. I totally understand that guy's point. But, yeah. He's venting, exactly, he's venting. I'm just gonna go ahead and say that people don't like when you complain in the workplace. How does Tarek have the most perfect diplomatic response? Bro, if I had a if I had a strong stance on one side, I would say it. But I'm telling you guys, it's not that big of a deal. And yeah, he shouldn't have said it on stream, but I, I don't think I'm not I don't hold it against him. Like I hear him. He's just venting, bro. It's not a big deal. You can complain about your job, but don't do it on camera in front of thousands of people. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. It was definitely emotional. What's up, Dad? Hey, Tarek. What's up, brother? I called you a random dude. Ignore that. I used the wrong word. What do you? What do you mean? Okay, they didn't clip it. It's fine. Okay. Somebody must have clipped. Now I gotta see it. What happened? No, I was talking about because I was watching you reply to the Bustio situation, and I was talking about seeing you. To have an advantage, this uh, is the or knowing the fact that you're the 100 Thieves owner, did last time when they went but I kind of just know you crunch. as Matt. But last time I see just ran I don't know why. Yeah, we're, 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 we're familiar with each other like that. It's cool. What I was saying is like it's 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 just fake, it's fucking awesome is what I was trying to say. Control. I'm so awesome or Bustio's awesome for flaming us? I think I think Bustio's the fucking man. I know I agree, which is why I didn't know that where this came out of nowhere for me, bro. I think people are blowing it out of proportion. It's not that serious. No, I think we should blow it out of more exactly. proportion because if it's reaching your stream, that means drama is going to sell these bundles, bro. I already, I already covered it. I already covered it. <laughs> well, can you tell them to buy our bundle? Because here's the problem. Bustio don't realize we won the fucking North America split and then we got fourth place at the championship. We, 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 we sold less bundles than we would have done if we were making 10 YouTube videos a fucking month. I wouldn't say that to him personally. <laughs> well, I just said it to you. I wasn't saying it to him. If he hears it, oh well. Yeah, you're probably right, to be honest. Yeah, we'll pay Zelsus a fucking consultant fee just to shout our shit out. He knows it's a fake. It's going to be catching the spot.